Ah, uh, uh, judge your pretty little lips. Now listen, and listen well. Afton is a loony bin. And the more you don't get involved and don't touch anything, the better it'll be for both of us. Do you hear me? Touch this ain't a joke. One wrong move here in this messed up place and you'll end up like those things. I'm not even going to elaborate on that one. Are you going to listen to me or not? <laughs> Good. Then I think you understand what comes next. For now, a whole lot of nothing. And for tomorrow, we have to think of a plan. Look, I know I've not been the best to you, especially lately. It's been necessity over everything else. And I think you can understand why I was doing it that way. It's not as though I want to be a rude asshole. It just comes naturally. And as for right now, a rude asshole is going to have a whole lot more chances of surviving, babe, than someone who's got every little thing figured out. Or at least that's what I believe. That's why I'm still alive. And the good guys aren't. It hurts to say that, I know. I get it was unsensitive. Better to have loved than lost. Isn't that it? Loved and lost, right? Seems like I've still got a ways to go with talking to you. <laughs> but I kind of like that you pick up what I leave. You're not just a slacker. You're a damn hard worker. And if I've learned one thing about you, baby, it's that you don't give up. And that's one of my favorite qualities, honestly. It gives me a little bit of hope. Hope that we're not going to end up in some ditch somewhere. Or worse, like them. It makes me think that there's a future with you. Maybe we settle down, start a family, that kind of thing. If there's even a way to do that in this dystopian world. I know there's been symptoms that you've been having since the incident. But it's okay. I think I understand them. And it's not like I'm going to let you turn. Whether or not you think I'm a monster or a man. Or a little bit of both. I'm the one taking care of you right now. And you're the one taking care of me. Now I could make a lot of excuses. Saying that I'm doing all the work or some stupid shit like that. But at the end of the day, you've done just as much as me. You were in those trenches. And both of us were in ground zero burning that house. And if we didn't make it out... We wouldn't be in one piece. This shit went to hell. And yet I still can't find a good way to compliment you because I suck at this thing. Relationships. Do you really think I thought I was going to have a relationship after everything fell apart? Maybe I did before. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you shouldn't be like that. The more you waste time looking back, the less time you have left to look forward. <sighs> yeah, smoking might kill me, but it'll kill me a lot slower than those mimics, those doppelgangers, maybe even slower than Afton. Look, this pizzeria, I hesitate to call it that, is a mess. It's not the normal kind of mess. It's the kind of mess that gets you killed. It's meant to be that way, like a giant trap. Now, if I didn't have it good in with him right now, we would probably be drugged and put in there right now. That's not me being pessimistic, darling. That's just the reality of it. The only people alive have more than a few screws loose. 
I mean, look at me. <laughs> Remember how we first met? Did you blame me then? Well, regardless of if you did or didn't, it doesn't matter now. Because we're stuck together in this mess. I guess it's like some Bonnie and Clyde thing. <laughs> I hesitate to call it that because it almost seems like a shame, right? That we had to meet after the world went to shit. <laughs> I, I don't even know how much of the world is real and how much is them. But I hold on to hope every day that we can find a paradise that they haven't touched. That we can escape from this mess. Maybe off the planet, who knows. I'd like to sail the stars with you, Tets. I'd like to see you smile instead of always looking like you're in pain. Don't get me wrong. A few times you have smiled. I'm kind of proud of the fact that I could make you. Not that I think it's that simple to smile. There's a lot more to it, don't you think? <laughs> when you really smile, it means that you feel something. And that's a risk, right? I've smiled more with you in the past week than I have in the past year. Ten years, even. <laughs> But I guess that's an exaggeration, because they were alive ten years ago. It's not that I wasn't happy before, it's that I didn't have a purpose. Now I guess you're that purpose to a certain extent. The other is to get that revenge, that sweet fucking revenge that they deserve. I hate it. I hate all of this. But you know what? I can say I don't really hate you. I don't think I ever have from the start. You were frustrating, but you learned fast. You were a companion that I didn't know I needed. A second pair of ears. I can hear something creaks in the dark. Look, I'm not careless, and I'm definitely not going to die easy. Hell, for all I know, I could be one of them right now. And even if I was, it doesn't matter. Because they're not going to control me. They're not going to make me do anything. And I'm going to watch them burn, even if at the end it means I die with them. Hey. Look, I don't think even if I was, I'm not tied to them. I'm not part of some stupid little hive mind. And I'm definitely not part of their crew. The last thing I would do is be siding with them. Couldn't be more disgusting. Put a bad taste in my mouth. In more ways than one. Now I'm going to say a few things, and you're going to listen to me. Got it. So, first of all, we can only stay here maybe another 24 hours before things hit the fan. And when they do, we're going to have to make a quick exit. Now, this madman here, he collects his victims in a certain place. And the only reason why I know he's not like them is he's not doing that petty bullshit of trying to pretend to be a normal, average, functioning human. That's why you can tell the loonies from the others. See, my theory, it's pretty simple. The ones with the screws loose, they don't know what to make of them. So they try and kill them. Because, honestly, would they want me walking around being resentful? <laughs> Personally, I don't think it's just that. There's the fact that they just don't understand those emotions. I think they genuinely think they're doing a good thing somehow. Delusional little.
little shit. <sighs> but arguing about them isn't going to change anything, is it? And honey, you don't look so good today. Like you've been stressed, not sleeping. <laughs> not that I blame you. I probably look like hell twice as much as you. And honestly, if that's the case, so be it. Maybe you gotta look like hell to bring him hell. <laughs> and it's not stopping you from being the most attractive to me. <sighs> I can't believe I said that cheesy shit. If I'm honest, I never thought I would keep a relationship to begin with. I may have been a loner, but it wasn't necessarily by choice, maybe half choice. The other half was just not finding someone who could deal with me, though I guess I have you as a sort of captive audience dragged along the ride. Then again, you chose to be here after, after everything. To that end, I'm impressed and enamored. What? Who oh, that? As for paradise or whatever, I don't think it exists anywhere near here. Not some old Air Force base in the middle of nowhere. No Area 51s. I'm afraid aliens would be the least of our worries. Hell, maybe they could help us. Sometimes I dream about it. Overwhelming forces <laughs> coming to our rescue. That's a pipe dream for now. This dystopian world looks the same as everybody remembered it. Stuck in an era, never moving forward. And while some people might think it's beautiful to see that Peace of the past and the present. I just can't. Can't do it. Even I struggle. Motivation. And then I just think about how much I hate them. <sighs> it probably sound childish that way. You know what? Maybe I am. And if that makes me childish, well... I guess... Get me a lollipop and tell me I'm a good boy. <laughs> What's with that look? Honey, you don't gotta worry about that. If that was an issue, we would already be dead. And besides, do I look like someone so weak that I would let my emotions go like that? Hey, I appreciate it. Worrying about me, though. Shouldn't you worry about yourself, too? You're the one who's barely slept. Kept watch even longer than I did. I'm used to the... Drifting off to sleep. The most dangerous place. I, I know you're not used to this yet. You were living in those apartments doing your job. You were protecting the good humans that existed from the bad things. You just made a wrong choice at the right time. And it saved your life. Because you already had one of those bastards in there. Look, I know it's not easy. It's not your fault. I never got to say that properly. You didn't do wrong. You just got fooled by them. And they keep evolving to be better. It's only a matter of time before we can tell it all. At least most people. I can feel it in their eyes. That vacant stare. Even if it's supposed to be so full, it looks like garbage to me. No. Don't think like that. 
have little hope. <laughs> you gave me a little, so I thought I should give some back. Shh, not like that. Come here. Just shut up and come here. That better? <laughs> what? Unsettling that I'm being nice. Now you're just insulting me. Oh, come on. I'm not that bad. Even you have to admit it. Just because everything went wrong doesn't mean that I'm a bad guy. Not just yet. And besides that, if the real Francis is face down on the floor in those apartments right now, would you regret it? <laughs> what do you mean you don't know him? If you know me, not him. Would it even make sense that I even exist? I mean, think about it. If I was the fake all along, why would I be doing all this? Wouldn't it just mean the real one was the fake to begin with? <laughs> Weird food for thought. You've got a strange brain, Tuts. Not that I'm complaining. Your strange brain has good ideas. Some bad, some stupid, and others just right. Oh, what's that? You want to say something? Then say it. Don't ask if you can. Spit it out. Asking something so open-ended. If I think one way, it doesn't change the reality, does it? But what I feel right now, that's what matters. And what I feel is... Special. I feel alive. I feel like I'm actually doing something right. What about you? Does it feel nice not being alone? I know you weren't at the apartments, but you couldn't have predicted what happened. Don't blame yourself. <laughs> I know I've been petty about the fact of your previous relationship, but take it as a jealous man who has you in his arms and doesn't like to share and doesn't like to think of the idea that anybody else in the world loved you as much or was close to having you as I have. Now I understand marriage is a bitch, and you didn't even manage to have a proper goodbye. I get that. It's always complicated with love, isn't it? And that's why, if nothing else, I can give you a bit of solace there. That I'm not exactly a man who believes in marriage in that way. Sure, I want you to be mine, but do I believe a ring will keep you with me? No, I believe a heart might, and that's about it. You have to talk and feel and touch and love. There's a lot of things, like a balancing act. A whole hell of a lot more difficult than balancing a checkbook or something. Now listen to me and listen good. I'm not just saying this because I have to. I'm saying it because I want to. I'm not going anywhere and neither are you. And if we survive another day, that's great. Because tomorrow's a gift. Never promise. And I get that. That old saying haunts me like a motherfucker. But even still, doesn't mean I won't claw that tomorrow right from their damn grippy hands. 
Sorry. Didn't mean to sour the mood. But look at me. I'm not just here for no reason. Right now, I'm here for you. Right now, I'm holding someone way too attractive for me. And quite fun to hold, maybe, to touch. To guess. I taste like cigarettes and what? <laughs> cigarettes and... Hmm. I guess there's more to it. Must have a nuanced flavor. I'll take it as a compliment. And if that's the case, you know that this... This is just going to be the start of it. Never ends with just one kiss, does it? And something tells me that makes you happier anyways. Wow. How wrong am I? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Suit yourself with that. Oh, and, uh, don't regret. Just don't. Regrets suck. And I have way too many of them. So the least I can do is make sure you don't have them. So come here. Shh, none of that. Excuses don't suit you to begin with. You never made them with me. <laughs> That's why if I grab you by the hips and I pull you into my arms, I look into your eyes like this. You can trust it at face value. I don't hide my feelings. I think it's the lamest thing in the world to try. And that's why when I grab you like this, when I hold you like this, when I pull you in to another kiss, that's genuine. I don't have time for wishy-washy, half-hearted bullshit. You can always trust what I say. Good or bad, that's what you'll get. That's what kind of man I am, and I think you know that. <laughs> you kiss so good today. Is it because I've been a romantic? Or just because you want a distraction? <sighs> Shh, not like that. Like this, baby. Your hand right here. That's it. See, you're great at this. Making me... This happy. And... If you keep that up, you might just get a reward. Oh, shut up. Excuses, baby. I want you. <laughs> and I know you want me to. So then, why wouldn't I waste a moment? <laughs> a moment I could spend having you in my arms. Shh, baby doll. That's right. Just like that. You're so good at this. And genuinely, I love the way the back and forth, the passionate exchange of everything just feels right. It feels so right. Everything about you feels right to me. I didn't say it much. Because I suck at this, but <laughs> I think I wouldn't have made it without you. I was at my wit's end, but now I can't get you off my mind no matter how much I try. <laughs> now, I 
I'm just gonna say the first inning wasn't that much, but the second, third, and fourth will be something crazy. And if we keep going, huh? you wouldn't want to stop there, would you? <laughs>